no footpath. There's green areas, grasses, then there are periods where there are no hard shoulders. It's a little bit dangerous here. I'm gonna step in here for a minute to finish this. Um, yeah, I've decided not to medicate, I'll tell you, because I just find that with the medication, it kind of brings me up to a certain level. It lasts about two hours and drops me down. I'm not sure how I'm gonna manage that walking. So, um, yeah, I'm debating on what to do here because I'm getting quite nervous with the fact that there's no hard shoulders at certain periods of this road. And I can see that straight ahead up above. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, look. I think I'm about, uh, maybe about 70 or 80 kilometers out from Port Jefferson. They're thereabouts. So I hope to make it in a couple of days, three to four days at least. But of course, the obstacles I run into are these ones here, as I explained. No hard shoulders, no footpaths, limited grass areas. Um, quite dangerous, and I'm not awfully sure how the police are going to react to this, but well, here's a race. Hold on, hold on. That's why I don't want to be on this road, but... Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop in here for a cup of coffee, and uh, maybe ask some of the locals or some of the restaurant owners. It's starting to get quite symptomatic there now with the bad shakes. Um, look, I'll keep you up to date on what's going on. If I have to accept a lift to get past this part of the road, I'll be honest with you and I'll let you know rather than just fool you into thinking I'm doing it because um, I'd be, I, I wouldn't be inclined to want to do that for too long, but at the end of this road, I'd like to be breathing as well. So um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Hey, some point about dangerous roads. I almost literally got killed coming across. I had the right away. The lady just decided she was going to mow me over. Stopped about two feet from in front of me in a Jeep. I was laughing about it. I thought it was very funny. So as I said, it's getting a little bit uh, more difficult. Strange enough, the more built up it is, I would have thought the easier it was, but it's just having to crisscross roads because footpaths run out. And here's my, that's where I'm staying, I think. Oy, oy, oy. All right, well, we'll talk to you later. Listen, thanks guys. Sinead, thanks so much. Portalis Limited, Killarney, County Kerry, thank you so much. For everything it's been a great adventure so far and guys look forward to seeing you in rhode island shortly and uh, i'll sign off for this evening and upload this and loads of photos later on bye bye See what I mean? <laughs> anyway, listen, um, Sinead, thank you so much. Portalis Limited and Killarney Serialization Solutions. And uh, thank you so much for this. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'll pick, it, I'll pick it easier route next time. Maybe I'll go by bus or something. But, um, Oh, yo, Parkinson's is kicking in. It's very difficult walking on this road because you keep breaking stride and if anybody who has Parkinson's would understand that breaking stride is, is a very difficult thing to get. It's like a hop, skip and a jump. So um, I'm just trying to keep it one dimensional. But hopefully when I get to uh, Rhode Island Bridge after a day of rest, will teach me how to do a bit of boxing and that way it becomes two to three dimensional from the point of view that you're doing more than one thing at one time. Um, like most women would do, you know, guys? Anyway, listen, great day so far.
Thank you, Portalis. Thank you, Sinead. Portalis saved my life. That's my little bib hanging up. It didn't fit the back, but uh, I've got the uh, the jacket striped over my uh, haversack, so I'm well, well seen. And I'll talk to you guys later before this gets too boring, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.